Hey, 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 game devs, it's Dan with You Contribute Games, and in today's video, we are going to talk about taking damage and healing our characters with the take damage and heal function. All right, so let's first off take a second and just think about how many games we've played where the characters in those games never took damage. Go ahead and think about it. I'll wait. Right, you probably didn't think of a whole lot of games, if any, because taking damage is, is actually a core function within most games we play. It just, it is. It's a staple, right? Even our super favorite plumber boy, he took damage. It was only one damage, but he took damage, right? And we're going to control that type of functionality within our health manager through our take damage and heal function. So the take damage function is going to be provided a damage amount when called. It's going to set our damaged flag to true, which is going to just signal other functionality in our script, such as damage flash, that they should perform their functionality during the next update iteration. Then we're going to check and say, is the current health greater than the minimum health? And if so, set the current health equal to the current health minus the damage amount, right? And for our heal function, it's the same thing. We're sending the amount we want to be healed by. We're first setting our healing flag to true, which is going to let other functions that rely on knowing we were just healed before performing their functionality know, hey, it's time to do your thing. And then if the current health is less than the maximum health, we're going to set the current health equal to the current health plus the heal amount, right? Now we know the lock min max health function is going to bring us back down to that maximum health if we go above that. But if we're already at the max health, or we're already at the minimum health, there's no sense in damaging our, our characters or healing them because we're going to push it right back to the same value we were just at, which is a waste of processing power. So we do perform those checks here, even though we have that other safety net. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how we're going to take damage and heal our characters. Um, so I'm going to put this up real big on the screen so that you can see it for those of you guys typing this up as we go making your own health manager. But if you want to get a copy of the health manager script, all the art assets, the full scene from our health manager demo, go ahead and click that link right there. And you'll be taken somewhere where you can go ahead and pick up a copy of that. I see you looking at my big red subscribe button. Go ahead and click it. You know you want to. Click it. All right. Guys, if you like the content, click subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Leave a comment down below. We want to hear from you. Send us an email over at ycg at youcontributegames.com. Head over to youcontributegames.com. Join the mailing list. Find out when all the new awesome content's coming out. See you in the next video, guys.